What's up guys, Sonny the Badger here, and welcome to another episode of the Badger's Den. So, the other day I'm riding down the highway, minding my own business, and uh, all of a sudden my check engine light and my battery light comes on. And uh, it stays on for a while, and then it goes off, then it comes back on again, and it goes off. And it does that, does that multiple times. So um, when I get to my destination, uh, I don't really have time to mess with it, so I shut it off. I go in, um, have my meeting, I come back out, turn the ignition switch on, hit the start button, and click, 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 click. So my battery is, is dead as a doornail. So um, I actually was lucky enough to have a friend there. So he jump started the bike. Um, no lights on, no nothing. I ride it all the way home um, and uh, everything seems to be working fine. So I, uh, I decided, well, you know, I better test everything out and uh, come to find out that it was uh, actually a bad voltage regulator. But uh, I thought I would uh, run through uh, the testing of it and the replacement of it so that uh, if the same thing happens to you guys, you will kind of have a point of reference of how I tested it and then, of course, the part I bought and what I did to replace it. So let's get started. All right, guys. So there's a couple of ways to test your charging system. Uh, the first test we're going to do is DC at the battery. So um, you'll want to have... Uh, your meter and have it turned to DC and then fire up the bike and let's see if it's charging. So as you can see, it wasn't charging at all. It was like 12.03. Um, that should be 14.3 um, to like 14.7. So um, it is not charging at the battery. Uh, there is one other check, which is the AC check, and that's uh, where you check basically before the voltage regulator. So you're basically checking before the voltage regulator and after the voltage regulator, because it's my understanding there's no true way to test the voltage regulator itself. So you test before and after, and if before is working and after isn't, uh, it's likely the voltage regulator. So um, I will show you how to test before the voltage regulator. Um, just a second. All right, guys. So your voltage regulator, um, we were just at the battery compartment. You go down to the very front of the bike, and you'll see my light shining on it right there. But anyway, that is your voltage regulator. And you'll see the cords here. The cords right here, they run in and behind here. And then this cord right here runs all the way back to uh, near the battery. So um, you're gonna wanna unplug this connector um, on the back side here. I'll show you that here in just a second. All right, so as you can see, I actually already have it unplugged here. Right there is the connector. And in the back of it, you'll see it has three wires. So in order to test this, we need to test all three of those plugs. So I will get it hooked up here for you. So fortunately, I have these really cool pins that makes this job a lot easier for me so that I can um, connect the, uh, the volt ohm meter to it and get the reading I need to see if it's, uh, if it's happening before the regulator or after the regulator. So let's give them a test. All right, guys, as you can see, I have my voltmeter all hooked up. Uh, it is switched to AC this time uh, because you have to check this in AC and uh, it should read somewhere between 32 and 40 volts at 2000 RPMs. So I'm going to start it up and uh, we'll see where it's at. So as you can see, at 2,000 RPMs, we were well above the 30 needed. So that tells me that it is a voltage regulator. 
all right guys so we just got done testing it um, we tested uh, the DC volts at the battery and as you could see it wasn't charging at all so then we went before the voltage regulator and we test the AC volts there um, and those needed to be between 30 and 40 um, at 2000 RPMs uh, as you saw in the test it was well above that so that leads me to believe that it is uh, the voltage regulator that has went bad so um, I went ahead and bought a voltage regulator. Uh, I actually bought it uh, from Amazon. Uh, I'll have the link in this video for you guys to uh, see it if you guys ever need uh, the voltage regulator yourself. But um, I bought a V twin, twin power, high performance um, regulator. It is uh, supposed to be made in the USA, so that's always a bonus for me. And uh, it wasn't too expensive. I want to say it was uh, like 80 bucks. And uh, there were some that were much more expensive. So we're going to see exactly how good this uh, V-Twin made in the USA product works for us. So hang out and we'll install it. All right, guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull the battery negative cable off. Um, just in case. So let's get that pulled off and out of our way. Alright. Got the battery all unhooked and we are ready to proceed with the voltage regulator. Alright guys, so to remove the voltage regulator there are three bolts. There's a bolt here, a bolt here, a bolt here, and a ground bolt here. So you need to unbolt all three of those, unplug this, and then of course there's this wire that runs back to the battery. Um, and uh, this one's kind of tricky, so I will go over that with you here in just a few. All right, guys, so this wire right here, you can see my demon bell there. This wire right here runs up along the frame, and then it runs up in here. And then if you look at it really closely, it looks like it goes up into the battery box. Um, but I learned the hard lesson. So as I was saying, I learned the hard lesson, so I pulled the battery out and the fuse box and everything trying to get to that wire, and the wire does not run into the battery box. It actually runs into the back of the fender here. So inside the fender here, there's a plastic piece that goes right here with two bolts. So all you do is unbolt those two bolts down there and pull that plastic piece out, and the wire runs I don't even know if you can see that. Can you see that? I need light. So you can see the wires right there and they're all connected with a, a nut. So you just follow the wire up here after you've removed that panel, pull the nut off and there is the wire that you've got to run. You just run it back through and down under the frame and then you just run the new one. Um, just follow the same path that this one ran, run it up here and plug it back in. And it's that simple. All right, so once you've got the wire all unhooked, like I do back here, just feed it down through here. There it is. Feed it down around the frame. Like so. And feed it through here. And there it is. The voltage regulator is removed. Alright guys, so we got the brand new voltage regulator out of the box, all nice and neatly wrapped up here, and uh, we are going to install it. So the install is just the reverse 
of taking it apart. Uh, you just don't have all the testing. So um, we'll speed that up and uh, get it put back together. Alright guys, so we got the new regulator all installed, the battery hooked back up, let's fire it up and see if it's working. like it was the voltage regulator as you can see the voltage is now over 14 volts instead of the 12 and a half we had before which was absolutely nothing and uh, we're charging again so if you ever run into the is issue um, that is how you test it that's how you replace it and uh, you'll see a link in the in the video of where you can buy uh, your regulator as well um, I hope this was a uh, great useful information for you and uh, if you liked it please subscribe to our channel um, hit a like share it with your friends and uh, we will see you next time it's not about the destination it's all about the ride have a great weekend